Now, Ormo Park here in Belfast will be an array of colour and talent this weekend as youth from all different cultures who are living in Northern Ireland will celebrate the first ever multi-ethnic youth fest. The festival is supported by Belfast City Council and organised by MSCNI and it's going to take place this coming Saturday outside the Ozone Complex on Ormo Embankment here in Belfast. It's also a free to the public. There's loads going on, including a big concert concert as well. And the day will kick start with a soccer tournament and somebody who's involved in that soccer tournament is going to be our very own Northern Ireland footballing legend Jerry Armstrong who joins us now on the line. Jerry, how are you? I'm good, Robin, thank you. So tell us about uh, Saturday then. How did you end up getting involved in this project? Um I was told about it um 3 or 4 weeks ago, actually more than that, probably 2 months ago. And um, I try to find out a little bit more about what it was. And it's uh, the ethnic cultures in Northern Ireland, but African, Caribbean. But then they were talking about food. And, um, well, we all love food. I love Caribbean food and uh, different cultures. So I think it's great that we can, we can uh, find out about other cultures and, and certainly about other foods. And then, of course, the, the sports side of it, the football side was right up my street as well. So... Um, I, I said I'm really interested in, in getting involved. And uh, I think Michelle, I think it was Michelle McTiernan had spoken to Deborah about it. And, and she contacted me and the rest all history. So I suppose uh, sport is a good way to bring communities together, isn't it? And 100%. I've known that through playing international football for Northern Ireland. And, uh, you know, the World Cup and what it did for our country and, and for Ireland as a whole in 1982 and 86. And it does. It gives some people something to focus on. But um, I was just surprised that we never had a, a multi-ethnic um, a celebration of the cultures before. You know, I think I always look upon Northern Ireland as being a, a fast-moving and forward-thinking um, country. And um, I was just surprised. So when the opportunity came up, I said, look, let's do it. And I met Jazz. Jazz is fantastic. You know, and he's, uh, he's, he's correctly so. He's got the award, the, the Spirit of 82 award. And, um, you know, it's great to see all the difference. Players. I've actually met some. Some are very good footballers, and you're gonna you're gonna see some decent uh, skills. We might even uncover a few players for the future. Ah, that would be brilliant. So would. So on the day as well, you'll be presenting the prize, the trophy at the end of the tournament, won't you? I will. Yes, that's right. And uh, of course, um, George Best's wife's uh, coming over as well. And um, I'm looking forward. I haven't seen her for ages. I think the last time she came to visit us was in Mallorca, and um, you know, looking forward to seeing her and catching up. Always good to catch up with Alex. And of course, uh, yourself and George went back a long way, didn't you? Yeah, I made my debut with George back in 1976-77, uh, I think it was, against West Germany. Uh, Danny Blansflower was the manager. And I remember the night before when he told me that I was going to be playing with George the next day I was making my debut, which is something you know you dream about. Well, one, it's great to be able to play for your country and, and get that honour. But to be able to play up front alongside the great George Best was something special as a boy who hero of mine. And, um, you know, in the years to come, we became very good friends and uh, worked together at Sky for quite a while. I would imagine as well, there's going to be plenty of stories about George in your book, which is on the way, I believe. It is, yeah. George, George has got uh, mentioned in quite a few chapters because, uh, I mean, he's the reason why I actually ended up at Sky. You know, he knew I'd played in Spain. And uh, he had asked me to play in a tournament in, in Battersea Park. And I turned up for the tournament. And, you know, basically there was a, a producer and a director there. And we were talking about small-sided games and how it improves your touch because you get more contact on the ball in a small-sided game. And, uh, you know, that's, and that, that's the way it was in Spain. And he said to me, George had told me that you played in Spain for a couple of years and you speak Spanish. And I said, yes, I do. And he said, what are you doing next Saturday? And I got a 21-year career doing Spanish La Liga as a result of that. Brilliant. So as we mentioned there, the book is coming soon. It'll be out in time for Christmas, I believe. It is. It's coming out in November. Um, it's just being registered at the moment. And then the printers in uh, the Midlands are going to put like several thousand together. And I'm flying over to sign a lot because there's a lot of play people have been already ordering the book. And from far and near, you know, Canada and Australia and uh, America. So... I've got to get over and sign as many books as I can. I'll, I'll make a flying visit 
and there's about a thousand I want to sign straight away and then bring a lot of books back with me for um, you know the launch here in, uh, in Northern Ireland and we're hoping for the 22nd of November uh, the Irish FA are coming back to me confirm that and uh, that, that should be uh, it's a Monday and uh, we can do that at Windsor Park so that'll be great fun are we going to get any surprises are we going to find out things that we didn't know about Jerry Armstrong loads of surprises uh, don't want to spoil it for you there's 22 23 chapters um, the forward word I'll tell you is from Pat Jennings and uh, Pat's uh, put in a, I've known Pat probably the best part of nearly 50 years so um, he's uh, he put the forward in and uh, talks about me and I mean there's all the international career you know it's, uh, it was two World Cups and two British Championships and you know a Golden Boot Award for the best British player so all of that is involved in it and the highs and lows of being an international footballer. And it's, it tells the truth that basically warts and all, growing up in, in uh, Belfast and West Belfast and um, through the Troubles, um, getting an opportunity to go and play soccer over for Tottenham Hotspur, how it came about. And it's a series of sliding doors, to be honest, Robin. You know, one door closed and another door opened for me. And, you know, I was fortunate enough, and I was fortunate, there was a lot of really good players playing in the Irish League. You know, when I was playing and uh, I was fortunate enough, I got an opportunity and, and uh, they liked me and, and I took my chance and the rest all history, as they say. Well, Jerry, it sounds amazing. I'm looking forward to reading it. We'll get you into the studio when it comes out in November. But in the meantime, have a great day at uh, the Multi-Ethnic Youth Festival on Saturday and give my love to Alex Best as well. I will. And let, let everybody know it's at Ormo Park. I think it starts at 12 o'clock. We'll be there and we're looking forward to it. It's going to be a lot of fun and music. Mariana, my daughter, is singing uh, with a young lad, Connor, who's from the, the Voice. So they're doing a duet, but there's lots of different types of music will be on show for the day. So it should be a very entertaining day. Hopefully the weather is going to be good as well for us, Robin. Brilliant. Well, Jerry, have a great day on Saturday. Thank you for joining us. Thank you, Robin. Now, if you'd like to be there as well on Saturday, tickets for the all-day event are free and they're available now on eventbrite.co.uk.